Did you know that we can use labels in JavaScript to control the flow of program execution? In this video, you will learn about labels in JavaScript and how we can use them. Let's look at an example to see how this works. Imagine we have a loop that runs several times. But, we want to stop the loop and exit early if a certain condition is met. In this example, we want to break out of the loop when i is equal to 5 and j is equal to 5. To do this, we need to write an extra break statement inside the outer loop. This is because the break statement only breaks out of the inner loop and not the outer loop. To solve this problem, we can use a label in combination with a break statement. What is a label? Labels in JavaScript are like labels or tags that we put on a piece of code to give it a name. This name can then be used to control the flow of our program. To create a label, we simply write the name of the label followed by a colon. Let's look at the previous example again, but this time we will use a label to break out of the outer loop. The label outer is attached to the outer loop, and the break outer statement is used to exit both loops when i is equal to 5 and j is equal to 5. We don't have to write any extra code to break out of the outer loop. Labels can also be used in conjunction with the continue statement to skip a specific iteration of a loop. Let's look at another example. We have a list of numbers and we want to check if all the numbers in the list are valid. If any of the numbers are invalid, we want to exit the loop early. First we check if the list has any elements. If it does, we loop through the list and check if each element is valid. If all the elements are valid, we set the all valid numbers variable to true outside the loop. It works fine if all the elements are valid. But, if any of the elements are invalid, we break out of the loop. But all valid numbers is still set to true. This is because the break statement only breaks out of the inner loop and not the if statement. We can use a label to fix this problem. We add a label to the if statement and use the label to break out of the if statement. Now, if any of the elements are invalid, we break out of the if statement along with the loop. Disclaimer, there are better ways like array.sum or array.every to check if all the numbers in a list are valid or not. But, this is just an example to show how we can use labels in JavaScript. In general, labels are not used very often in JavaScript and it is often easier to write code using other control structures such as if statements. However, they can be useful in certain situations where we need more precise control over the flow of our program. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed this video, please like and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next video. Till then, happy coding!